Hey guys, welcome back to the Glide tutorial. We are now on episode number 14 and we are here today to actually make a nice little preview in our shop. So again, so again, we're on the quest of making our menu look super good and we're almost we're almost there guys. Uh, we need to put some preview object in here and the way we're going to be doing it is quite interesting actually. We're going to be using a render texture. So we're going to be using another camera in the scene just to display another image and we'll be putting that image inside of the active circle. So we're going to be starting right away by opening up the menu scene and inside of the menu scene we're going to be creating a new object. Now this new object is going to be called trail preview so let's just call this trail preview like this and we're going to be moving it somewhere a bit odd so we're going to be moving it somewhere that is uh, let's do minus 500 in Y. And it's going to put it below the map, like quite far away. You can even do minus 5,000. Minus 5,000 is cool. Now, um, if you want to see it, double click on it and you're going to be right at the right spot. What we're going to be doing right here is we're going to right click on it and create a camera inside of that trail preview. And now just try to follow this. Uh, we are going to rotate it downward so it looks down just like this. And then we're going to be putting, say, uh, we're going to be putting the Y on 2 and the Z on minus point 1, 2. Some random number right here that are not so random, but you'll see it. Uh, you'll see what they do in a second. We're also going to open up the prefab and drag and drop our actual first trail in here as well. So we now have an object that contains both a camera and our first trail. The trail is at 0, 0, 0, and then um, our camera is just at these this little offset right here. The next thing we'll do is we'll go over to our trail preview and add the player, uh, the menu player script so it moves forward as well. This way we can actually see, uh, we can actually see this going on. If we just boot the um, the actual game scene right now, this is what we see. So there is two camera, the new one we've put has priority and it looks something like that. Now of course there's a lot of error, we need to fix all that kind of stuff. But basically what's going to happen is that we're going to be taking the feed of this camera. So you, as you can tell right here, the preview we see down there, and we're going to be putting it on an actual um, square texture. So the offset was not so random as you can tell. If we just move it a little bit higher, we lose the clipping here and um, it's just up to you. So if you want to be putting it a little bit bigger like that, it's really up to you. You just use the camera preview to uh, orient properly. So if this is what you like the most, copy the transform and apply it when the game is not running, just like this. And then you end up with this nice little preview down there. All right, so we have our camera preview, we have our trail working. What we're gonna be doing right here, we need to configure our camera. So the way we're gonna go about this is first, we're gonna make sure the depth is on minus two. So we can actually keep our main camera displaying what we have to display. And this trail preview camera actually do not display at all because the other one has priority right now. And we're going to be keeping the skybox gear, we're going to be keeping the field of view. All of those settings are actually quite good. The only thing we're missing right here is a target texture. We're going to be pushing this camera to a texture. So under um, artwork, we're going to be creating a new section called preview. And under preview, I'm going to create a new render texture. So create. A render texture and this is going to be something like trail preview. Now back on my camera let's drag and drop this trail preview right in here. If you hit play now and you actually click on your trail preview you're going to be seeing that it actually renders it to a texture which is quite cool. Now you can use that texture on any sprites you want. But one more thing that we need to do before we actually display it on a piece of UI is we need a specific material for it. So let's right click on preview, create a new material. And that's going to be of course the trail preview mat. And under here, I'm going to be using the UI. So let's go under UI, uh, use default ETC1. The tint is going to be eight. I'm going to keep all the default settings right here. That's the only thing I need is to have uh, this shader right here. So. At this point, we have pretty much everything we need to actually apply it to the uh, the shop menu. One thing that we have to change before actually, I've lied here, one thing we need to change is uh, the fact that these right here under the trail panel, these are all images. 
and images use a sprite and we can't actually use sprite with a render texture. We're gonna be making sure that this is raw images, not images. So what we'll do right here is uh, we are going to delete image, add a raw image, and I'm going to be deleting all the other trails. So we have one right here that works properly. We have the raw image. Uh, let's go ahead and just put random texture for now. Since we do not have the sprites, actually, you guys, if you downloaded the artwork um, from the website or Patreon, you're going to have these sprites. They're going to be completed. But right now, as I am making this, I do not have the uh, the proper sprites ready. So, so of course, if you have those, put them on the buttons. Right now, all I have is my logo and some random stuff. So I'll just be putting my logo. Why not um, on every single trail? So let's go and do that. Copy it nine more times so we can go back to what we had however this time we have raw images instead of simple image component okay so that's enough setting up we're gonna head over to our favorite script and you guessed it that is the menu scene and i think that's pretty much the last time we play around with the menu scene or not we'll find out so what we're gonna need right here is to head over at the very top we're gonna be declaring some fields that are specific for this render texture so private texture this is going to be previous trail it's going to keep track of um, the texture that is on the image before we change it to the active texture and then we'll have a private game object last preview object that's going to be much required to change the trail and then a public transform trail preview object And finally, a public render texture. That's gonna be, of course, our trail preview texture. And those are the four fields we need to make this work. First off, we're gonna head over to the start. And at the very end of our start, we're gonna create a section to create the trail preview. Because remember, it's not supposed to be there at the beginning. Um, we manually just put one right there, the first one, but if we're actually looking at the third trail we're going to have the third trail preview so to create it i'm going to say last preview object is equal to game object instantiate we're going to instantiate um the one at manager instance let me zoom in on that a little bit there we go instance player trails at the index save manager instance state selected trail oh i do not have the oh active trail my bad and then as a game object, we need to cast it at the end. So that's for the very first line. Afterward, we're gonna be making sure that this is a children of the um, the trail preview object. So transform dot set parent, and then trail preview object is gonna be the parent. And I just realized that I'm missing a W right here. So let me just go back and put that in the name of my field. Or actually I do have Oh no, here it is, okay. So trail preview object. And finally, let's move it back to where it should be. So transform local position is equal to vector3.0. And just like this, we created the trail preview object. Now, the only moment that this is going to change is when we hit the untrail select function. So down here. So let's go ahead and just start inputting this uh, properly. So let's just go ahead and start adding the preview code in here. So that is for the preview trail right here. We're gonna start by getting the sprite, so getting the, actually not the sprite, the image. So get the image of the preview button by doing a trail panel, get child, add the selected trail index, get component, raw image. Remember guys, we're not using image, we're using raw image in this case, dot texture is going to equal to previous trail. So this is for the previous trail. So we're gonna be making sure that this one is actually being reset uh, properly. And then it will actually keep the newest one um, in the previous trail as a backup. So keep the new trails preview image in the previous trail as a backup. So previous trail is going to equal trail panel dot get child again and current index in that case. Then we do a get component raw image that texture and finally let's set the new trail preview image to the other camera 
to the other camera. Okay, I'm getting there. So trail panel, get child. This one is at the current index again. So once we save the previous one, we are gonna go ahead and just change it. So get component raw image. We could have stored that in a temporary uh, field as well. The texture is equal to the trail preview texture and that is the actual uh, render image. So do we have everything we need? I believe, I think we do have everything we need. Let me just double check right here. Uh, we're actually missing one thing in the initialized shop and it's at the very end of everything. We need to make sure that there is actually a previous trail uh, assigned at the beginning so we don't get any null reference bug. So let's say previous trail is equal to trail panel, get child, no trail panel, uh, get child, and then again, save manager, instance, state, active trail, get component, raw image, that's a lot of code, dot texture. And here we go, so we have the texture. This is uh, set the previous trail to prevent bug when swapping later. Okay, let's give this a try. Hopefully everything works. We're gonna be launching this from the preloader, of course, and I have a feeling that something's not gonna work out, but uh, that's just my gut feeling. Okay, let's have a look down here, and we seem to have nothing going on. The first thing I, I notice is that we have a uh, error right here, and the error is being buried under a ton of uh, simple warning right here. So we're gonna go in the game menu, sorry, in the menu scene, go under our trail preview and get rid of that audio listener so we stop getting spam. And now, as far as the error goes, we have a no reference, um, probably because I forgot to set some stuff in the menu scene, yep, here it is. The trail preview object and the trail preview texture are not set. Let's go ahead and drag and drop the trail preview texture right in here. And as far as the object, it's this one. And I think that's all we need, okay. Round number two. So let's see, we have a null reference again. Let's double click on it. So what is the null reference? Image, okay, so what happens right here is that uh, in the initialized shop earlier, we do a get component image, but we're, not long, we're no longer using images. We're using raw images now. So let's change that for raw image. So that is in the initialized shop, but I believe we also use it somewhere else. We're gonna find out if we do. <laughs> it's gonna crash if we're using it somewhere else. But let's try it again, so that's round number three. And no crash thus far. We get a nice preview on this object right here, let's change it. And it feels like it's not actually uh, changing, but okay, we, we have an error right here. Let's actually check it out. Again, we do a get component image. Let's do a raw image instead. We are in the untrail by set. Now, the only problem I have at the moment is the fact that I don't think uh, it's actually swapping the object right here. The preview object, if we open up our menu, have a look here. Oh, that's because we have two. Okay, I get it now. I feel like it is changing, but we can't see it because we have two of those. So let's head back in the menu, delete this one. So the trailer preview is clean at the beginning and we're going to be taking care of uh, instantiating one when we need to. So here we go. Uh, let's go back in the menu scene. And what do we have here? It doesn't look like it's being deleted ever. So what if I just add something here such as a raw image? It's not actually being deleted when I click somewhere else. So I just realized that we're missing a critical part of this and it's right here um, on the untrail select. We need to destroy the previous one. So let's actually do change the physical, so physical object of the trail preview. The way we're gonna go and do this is start by destroying the old one. So destroy last preview object. Uh, if there is any, so just make sure we add the call right before that. So if last preview object is not equal to null, Let's go ahead and destroy it. And then afterward, what we wanna be doing is to create a new one. And let's actually go at the very beginning here, copy what we had in the start functions. So to create trail preview, let's actually copy this, head back to our on trail select and paste it down here. 
Now we need to change one thing, however, it is right here in the player trails, we want to be instantiating, uh, we want to be instantiating the one at current index. And just like this, we're ready for round number four. So let's see what we have to deal with right now. And I feel like it is working. Actually, as you can tell, it keeps just uh, restarting every time. So that's exactly what we need since uh, later on, we're going to have different trails. So it's going to look different every time we click on it. And that is all we actually needed to do today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also share it with your friends, check out the Patreon page, check out the Facebook page and all that kind of good stuff. Of course, click on the video right now on the screen in which we are going to start doing the player controls. So it's starting to get interesting right there. So in the next video, player controls, we're also going to be building to the phone. So look forward to that. I will see you in the next one.